So someone just ruined their entire career. What's going on everyone? It's your favorite Jealousator Apoc and welcome back to the channel where I analyze things that sometimes don't really matter. So it's not unknown that family vloggers and family channels are a big problem on the platform. We've seen people fake miscarriages, use their own children's pain for money and views, or even have a kid's reaction video to the grandmother's death. Are you sad little Timmy? Well tell it to the camera honestly i have no clue why this is even allowed but to get to the point if you don't know what's going on there's this family vlogger named jordan cheyenne who i keep wanting to call jordan chase for some reason you know the david dobrik of dexter and jordan is the prime example of all the mouth breathers we talk about here on my channel or just a problem with family vloggers in general now jordy here messed up pretty hard and she's gonna continue falling because she accidentally uploaded raw footage of a vlog instead of the edited version and this is based around her and her son reacting to their sick dog where the boy is obviously upset and the mom jordan seemed to really not give a damn at all she was way more invested in getting that thumbnail okay here we go again come here Look at me, look at me, look at me. We have to do this, look at me. She's going to be okay. Repeat this, say Rosie is healthy. Rosie is look at me, Rosie is healthy. Rosie look at me, healthy. Rosie's beautiful. Rosie, Rosie is strong. Rosie is strong. She, is she is healthy. She will make it, she will make it. She will make it. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be optimistic or that you shouldn't come for your child, which she's trying to do here. At least she's trying to pretend to do because all this is just for the vlog. It's all fake. It gets switched off like that. And you'll see that in a second. But maybe, just maybe, you shouldn't make promises that you don't know you can keep. Her dog is sick with Parvo. So why would you tell your child that the dog's going to make it when you have no control over that whatsoever? Again, I'm not saying you shouldn't comfort your child or be optimistic, but you also need to prepare them for what can happen. Because kids trust their parents, they trust their words, and if the dog passes, the kid's gonna wonder why mom lied and why she made that promise at all. You shouldn't be giving kids false hope. It's crazy, no, no matter how much you know about positive mindset, law of attraction, it doesn't matter how much you're educated on that when you're in the moment it's still so hard to not feel sad and seen yeah how's that law of attraction working out for you right now chicks actively out here talking about how positive thoughts bring positive results while not a day later her entire world got turned upside down due to her being a selfish greedy sh mom so much for positivity i'm gonna let you guys go i need to go be there for christian i just wanted to give you an update because so many of you turned on the countdown reminders for my new video today and you wanted to see our big news says she needs to be there for her son while he's actively crying off in the background sitting right next to her bruh imagine as a parent wanting to give random updates over actually putting the camera down and being present for your child and what the hell does she mean by countdown reminders for big news what big news this is this what you're going to put out is there a countdown to this this just keeps getting worse please pray for her i know she's gonna make it through she's an amazing beautiful little girl and i can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family so if you could pray for us we appreciate it i love you guys come here come closer for the video come closer come closer and just like that empathy and compassion get switched off like a light switch come closer put your head, put your head right here come closer come closer down put your head down here act like you're crying like bro this is just so sad and heartbreaking hey jordan you ever think that your son is not like you not like a vlogger or any of the other sociopaths on this platform he's a child and actually has empathy and compassion for living creatures those tears are real and he doesn't have to fake anything for the camera he doesn't even want to be on camera and it's clear as day that's not what he wants did you ask him to film him while he's crying? Did he give you his consent? And go figure, when she finally decides to console her son, it's only for the thumbnail because in the vlog, you couldn't even see the kid. You just hear him off crying in the background. She's not telling him to put his head on her chest so she can comfort him. She's doing it to dramatize the thumbnail and get him clickbait ready. It just seems so easy for her to disregard everything going on around her that doesn't make money. And that just so happens to be her son's actual real and raw feelings. Go like this. No, mama, she's using her. No, I know, but go like this for the video. This is what we talk about. 
yet we're called jealous haters for pulling things like these out. You don't think they all do this? This doesn't stop with Jordan Cheyenne. They all do it. You wouldn't know because they cut it out. But let's just imagine being this kid, right? Just wanting your mom to be there for you. In your time of need, but all she wants to do is make sure that random strangers on the internet are fully updated on the situation first. On top of that, expressing to your mother that you are actually really crying and really sad. Yet all that just gets tossed aside for a thumbnail. People like this are the reason why the anti-family vlogger community even exists. Go like this, put one hand up, go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. Crying. Does she not think he's really crying? Does she not think he's actually sad about the dog being sick? Does she believe he's a sociopath just like her? I mean, that would be the only explanation here because why else would she be disregarding him like that? I mean, this is just common sense type sh there's just no way this is real now obviously this is not a good look for jordan and this has caused a lot of backlash online for her hence why she deleted her youtube channel and instagram account talk about not having any accountability whatsoever but as per usual she uploaded an apology video fairly quickly after the situation as well but to be honest i'm sure it's just damage control and we're gonna get the typical i didn't know what i was doing i was emotional not myself garbage hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel i am putting up this video the minute i can address something um, i know a lot of you didn't see it only some of you saw the video some of you did not um, but i just put up a video maybe like 30 minutes ago letting you guys know we were going to announce our big news today i was letting you know that we got a puppy unfortunately she has parvo which she contracted before we bought her uh, we are very upset we've been crying all day it has been extremely scary they don't know if she's going to make it um it has been such an emotional day so emotional right that the very minute she was done vlogging all her compassion and empathy went right out the window i put up that video maybe 30 minutes ago in the ending of the video i was just so emotionally honestly completely worn out emotional crying the whole day i had christian on my shoulder and i was like here come here come pose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done and that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. Bro, he literally told her that he was actually crying and she just completely ignored that. And so many of you commented about it. The first video I uploaded, I forgot to edit out like my bloopers. So I edited out the ending. And so many of you said, girl, we already saw that. We're so disappointed in you and the mom you are. Like, why would you make him pose for a thumbnail? So how is any of this considered a blooper? Bloopers are supposed to be funny, and there's nothing even remotely laughable about this situation. You know, except watching her squirm to save her ass. And my, like my heart, like dropped. I rewatched the footage and I cannot believe, I rewatched it and you guys are completely right. A hundred million percent right. And I so hope you know that I'm genuine about that. Hear that? She's being genuine, guys. You know, the person who's getting blasted online for not being genuine. But now, all of a sudden, she's being real. This is the same person who said after getting backlash, she tried to remove the evidence. So she can say whatever the hell she wants, but she literally made to try and to erase that clip. And she probably did that and wanted to act like nothing ever happened. But the damage was already done and it's too late now. Today was, I'll tell you all about the puppy another day, but we basically got a puppy her name is rosie we're hoping that she's going to make it through she has parvo we've been in the emergency vet clinic all day and i was just so flustered and emotional all day and like was trying to rush with christian at the end and we were i told him like hey pose for a thumbnail like this is a sad video act sad um it's a little deeper than that sis this chick was actively out here instructing him about what the saddest angles were while also shoving his actual sadness to the side just to get the thumbnail but he didn't have to act sad or anything because he actually was the reason why people are just so pissed off at jordan is because she was focused on things that can be monetized to gain money over her son's emotions and the fact that she cannot see this is the problem we talk about and that's just it's so wrong i should have never done that looking back at the footage i'm so disgusted with myself i want to thank those of you who brought that to my attention what's more disgusting is that she needs random strangers to inform her that disregarding her crying son is wrong while this should be just a common sense thing but i guess that's my fault for thinking that vloggers have any form of common sense but you would think after the first cry you know when he literally tells her that he's 
actually sad and crying, that would have been her cue to, I don't know, turn off the camera and pay attention to him. Just a thought. Uh, some people were like, oh, she's turning off comments because she's ignoring it. This is not me ignoring it. This is me coming on camera five minutes after it happened. No makeup, nothing. A day later, deletes all her content and her channel and even deletes her Instagram to avoid what she did. And you know, I'm pretty sure she's wearing makeup right now. She's at least wearing a base here. It's clear as day. But one thing I've always wondered is why do YouTubers think that wearing makeup and throwing on a sweater makes them more <laughs> relatable and genuine? Are there there are people out there who actually fall for that crap. Coming on and saying, I'm so sorry. Anytime I make a mistake in life or my friends or family do, I'm the first person to say, I will still respect that person if they own it and they say sorry. Well, that's you. No one has to forgive you. They don't owe you anything, especially because no one knows how many times you've done this sort of thing. It's not like she made a mistake. She accidentally uploaded the wrong version of a vlog that she deliberately did. And it shines a light on what kind of person she truly is. And you know, when you cover vloggers, you get a lot of grief from the community, you know, the cronies that watch them. You can't know someone based from a 20 minute video, APOC. Yeah, you're right. So why do you think they're good, genuine and kind people? Doesn't this situation prove otherwise? And give us an example that they're completely different on camera and off camera. Pretty sure there was a ton of people thinking that Jordan was a good mom, but that ship sailed, didn't it? I was so so watching it back is just I think I was just so emotional today and flustered and like I should never ever have even tried to do a thumbnail on such a video where we have been so emotional all day she seemed to have no issue whatsoever in filming the situation or trying to dramatize a thumbnail in fact she says she was emotional but only showed fake emotion when vlogging and with the footage that was supposed to be cut there was no emotion she flipped the switch and tried to make it look like she was crying for a thumbnail so if you're actually sad about the situation why is it we have no proof of I'm just so disappointed in myself I want to thank those of you who called me out for it. A few people DM me on Instagram and I wrote back. I'm not shying away from it. I wrote back and I was like, you're completely right. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I greatly appreciate it. It sucks because now people are going to think that our emotions from today were not genuine when they completely were. So Jordan's doing this we thing. It's not a we, it's a you. We believe your son. He was actually sad and crying. Your son didn't do anything wrong you did because while he was actually sad mommy was just ignoring him to make sure the randoms are updated and for a thumbnail the problem is you jordan your actions are questionable your credibility is gone we don't know the truth to your words anymore anything you're saying now or in the future will not be believed because of your actions you show the world that you're so willing to fake emotion and if you're willing to do that what else are you saying to save face christian and i have been crying literally the entire day we got this brand new puppy who is adorable and such an amazing addition to our family found out that who we got her from gave, sold her to us with parvo and she may not make it i have been such an emotional wreck the entire day and my son as well um and that's what I was kind of updating you guys on in the video because I said we had big news and then I said it was going to have a countdown and a lot of you are waiting for the video today. Again, why are you updating randoms in times like this? You know, people who don't actually affect your life outside of making money, that is. These vloggers like to play, pretend, and act like they deserve a private life and everyone does. But then they pull this garbage. In a time where vlogging should have been put aside and the situation should have been handled off camera, Jordan made sure she could get whatever she could to monetize. Her first thought, her first reaction is money. Uh, people sending me extremely harassing, cussing, violent DMs on Instagram, that is never okay. I love my son. We are going through a very emotional situation with the new puppy and me trying to get that thumbnail was just so wrong it's such poor judgment of me but it does not condone internet bullying and violence and harassment is a crime i've gotten some dms that are disgusting no one deserves that i'm not tolerating that i will own up to everything that i do that is wrong and i will change it but that is not okay i will not accept that well first off she never really owned up to anything she just keeps saying she made a poor judgment call based upon emotion even though we didn't see much of that at all and i do not condone bullying or violent dms that is wrong no one should do that and yes nobody deserves that but but I will agree that people are allowed to express how they feel and express their opinions on the matter and let her know she's no longer welcome on the platform. Someone even said in the last video, oh, you're just making him cry for the YouTube coin. Guys, let me just be honest with you. The coin, the money from one video is nothing even, it's, it would be like less than a hundred bucks I would earn from that video, to be honest with you. Like with this current CPM rate, I'm not doing that to earn millions of dollars or thousands of dollars. Well, then other than money, what else would it be? 
Memories? Yeah, because I bet you really want to remember the time you bought a puppy and it was sick with Parvo and then your son was crying over it. Please. Money is always the goal to a YouTuber. No matter what they say, money is the goal. If any other content creator or YouTuber out there tells you otherwise, they're lying. Yes, you can love content and being a content creator, but if they tell you they do anything other than money, they're liars. And she has well over 500,000 followers and how many on Instagram? She would have easily made over a hundred dollars. But you know what? I don't care if she only made a penny off of it. I don't care if she made anything at all, honestly. The situation makes me sick in general. And aside from money, let's put the money factor aside. It doesn't take away from what she did. It just takes one thing out of the pile of shit. Wish I could show us at the vet crying and being so emotional and everything that happened. But then, you know, if I do that, you know what people are going to say? Why are you filming your son crying? Why are you filming the emotional moments? Um... But she did do that though. So is she saying that she doesn't believe her son was actually sad and crying? Because she did film those emotional moments. It was there. You hear him crying off in the background and then on camera. All we're doing is asking her why she did that. It's one of the main issues. And was she not emotional then? Like she says? I don't know. But don't get it twisted, folks. The only reason there wasn't footage of them crying in the vet or whatever was because most businesses don't allow cameras in their business, especially a business based around people's private pets. So they're not going to allow her to bring a camera in and start vlogging. Don't let her gaslight you into thinking anything else or that she took her son's privacy into consideration because let's remember, she's being put on blast right now for a clip where her son is sobbing right next to her and she's completely ignoring him anyways all you jealous haters that's about it it's pretty sad that there's people out here like this just so greedy so selfish can't even put the camera down long enough to take care of their crying child and to further my point check this i don't want to say and i don't want to come on here crying or act like I want sympathy or anything. I don't want any of that. Tries to dramatize a thumbnail on title for sympathy clicks. I'm taking the day, two days, three days, whatever, off social media to prioritize myself and Christian. Oh, now she wants to prioritize herself and her son, but not before, not after trying to monetize a tragedy. Hmm. I f***ed up so bad and I'm so upset with myself and I am being in, as hard as possible on myself and dealing with this in private. Oh, so just like prioritizing yourself and your son, you can also handle private matters privately without shoving a camera in your son's face. Like I said, she can keep going on and on and on with this whole, I'm disgusted with myself, I'm being as hard on myself as possible because I messed up, blah, 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 garbage. Yet turned off her comments and then deleted everything. But you know, it's a good thing because I think Jordan has taught the world a big lesson about family channels that they aren't what they seem on camera, that they're completely different and that they're fools. And now the situation makes you question how genuine any of them actually are. In conclusion, bye.